Will the dollar collapse? Is it currently collapsing? What does that mean? Am I insane? I don't know, but stop scaring me. It, it's okay. I understand this is a scary topic, but the best way to be prepared is to be educated. So pay attention. Collapse is probably the wrong word as well to describe the dollar's current situation. However, it is declining in value, and today we cover why that will continue to happen. I see. You don't think the dollar is going to collapse and just vanish tomorrow, but it's still going to continue to lose value until it's worthless. Yeah, that's a fair assessment, and we're going to discuss today why just like my man Thanos, this process is inevitable. To be fair though, the dollar is one of the best one or two currencies still out there, and it'll probably be one of the last one or two remaining. If it's losing value, how is it better than other currencies? Great question. So value is comparative. Compared to other fiat government currencies, the dollar is maintaining or gaining value pretty well. However, compared to scarce desirable assets, or even some just common household items, the dollar is actually losing value fairly quickly. Did you do your homework? How much was a gallon of milk in 1930? Well, 30 cents. Compared to the $4.30 I paid yesterday. So did the dollar gain value? Not against milk. And that's with technology making it easier to milk, store, and deliver. And you can see this to an even greater degree in things like home prices because a lot of people try and store their wealth in things like real estate. So the dollar is losing value not against other currencies, but against things people actually want to spend it on, like food, energy, vehicle, houses, or other investment assets. But why is this continuing? Are you so certain the dollar will continue to lose value? To put these numbers into perspective, let's say that last year you made $49,000, but you spent $63,000 and already had $300,000 in debt that you had to eventually pay back and also pay interest on. And to be clear, these numbers all just come from the IRS website. There's no conspiracy theory. The government themselves is putting out these numbers. I mean, I agree why that's bad, but I still don't understand why it's guaranteed to decrease. Okay, that's very good. The problem lies in the debt, and specifically the interest on that debt. The US now has so many liabilities that its debt interest and other obligations are so large it takes up almost all of its money. And now this does include things like Social Security and Medicare. So technically, I guess, if the government was like, hey, we're going to cut Social Security and Medicare, then maybe they would be able to pay back their debt and things you know, over the long run wouldn't collapse. But that's never going to happen. The government is not going to cut Social Security and Medicare as that would cause so many political riots and just general unrest, along with destroying many lives immediately. Okay, I see now. So by the time people actually receive their Social Security, it's going to be worth a lot less than what they actually put into it. Yeah, so they're going to give you that $4,000 a month that they promised. It's just by the time you actually get it, your purchasing power is going to be way, way less. This is worth repeating. The US dollar is guaranteed to continue to lose value. There is just no other option at this point. The only way to pay back our debt is to print the money and devalue the currency. Wow, now I really see the point of our last class and why Bitcoin serves as an insurance for government fiat collapse. We have to have some assets outside the control and manipulations of others just to protect us from that. Yeah, and you know from past classes that I believe Bitcoin is our best protection against government fiat collapse. But I often say, you can argue that Bitcoin isn't the answer, but you still have to come up with an answer. Government currency and bonds are guaranteed to continue going down in value. You just can't pretend there's no risk in those assets. Wow. I know this wasn't financial advice, but I certainly have a lot to think about. Yeah, and hopefully you've learned the degree to which our current system is corrupted. But that there are ways out if you keep your eyes open. Like right now, if your eyes are open, you see two videos on the end screen to click on and keep diving down the rabbit hole.